Hey everybody, it's me DG Tranik and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to add texture and material to text using Apple's Motion 5 software. Let me just adjust the size of the viewing window first. I'm going to grab the text tool and type in sample text. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to click on the text. I'll adjust the scale so you can see it better and then I'm going to change it to a wider font so you guys can see the textures and the material better. Let's choose this one, okay. Let me adjust the location of the text a little bit. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to go to the left side with the text highlighted. I'm going to click on Appearance and then I'm going to check the 3D text box on. And as soon as I do that, I get Materials option at the bottom. You can see this part. It says Materials. I have two options, Single Material or Multiple Material for different edges and sides of the object, the text object. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use single. I'm going to click on the material icon to see the list of all the materials available. Let's have a quick look at them. Concrete, fabric, grunge, metal, miscellaneous, paint, paper, plaster, plastic, stone, and wood. You can see the samples. And then we have substance that's different than material. Concrete, fabric, metal, plastic, stone, wood, and flat. If you check the substance box off, the text disappears. Let's try some of these different materials. Let's do some um, adjustments. There's a lot of different options for different adjustments and settings when it comes to materials and substances. There's a lot of uh, different options to play around with to get exactly what you want. You have options for the placement, for scale, you can change the scale of the material's texture, as you can see, when I drag the slider, it changes on the text. Let's try something different. Oh, that looks nice. I like that plastic, uh, sorry, not plastic, it's red leather. I like that. Let's try a metal, let's see, copper, that would be nice. Oh, that looks nice, I like that look. Gives it a um, western movie type look and feel to it. A little bit. There's different polishes or finishes, as I should say. A lot of different options to play around with just to see what each one would look like. Let's do green plastic. Oh, that's very um, uh, cartoonish looking. Kind of nice. You can go with gradient or color. You can change the gradient. Let's change it back to color. 
and you can pick any color you want just like the rest of Apple's motion you get the color wheel with all the options You can even save the material with the settings you created. You get this save box. Saves it to the library for you on motion. Let's try something miscellaneous. Scales. That sounds interesting at least. There's a lot of different options to play around with for scales to change the looks of it. Let's do paint. Oh, car paint. Now that's nice. That looks cool. Well, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. They're both Digitronic. I'll see you in the next video.